Bud. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Want to learn how to defrost meats really quickly? Here we go. Consistently, I'm like, oh, I've got so-and-so in the freezer, and then I realize, oh, I can't defrost that in a half hour. But now you can, all right? Harold McGee, who is a food science writer and author of numerous books, of which I have several, um, has written in the New York Times, and we'll link to it in the show notes here, about how to quickly defrost smaller packages of meat. Uh, not a big, giant pork roast, but smaller packs like this, chicken breasts, steaks, things like that. What do you have in your hand there? Uh, bacon that's freezing my hand. <laughs> Is that why you dropped it before? Yeah. <laughs> Miss. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, so in, in olden times, to defrost this, you take it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge, where it's about, what, 38 degrees, 32 degrees, and it would take 20 hours to defrost something like this to be able to use, right? In olden times, like yesterday? Yeah. Or this morning? Then came along the idea of putting this in a bowl with cold water dripping over it, and it would take several hours to defrost it. But I'm not ready for that. I'm always at 6.30 at night and I want to cook a frozen piece of meat, right? Now what we can do is we can take warm water or hot water and do the same thing much faster. Why are we doing it in cold water to begin with? Well, because we thought that was safer. Oh. Uh, because you want to keep the water, keep the meat at about 32, 35, 40 degrees. Oh, so we don't get like the salmonella and stuff like so that? So bacteria don't grow, right? So now the USDA has done tests and they've actually published them, there'll be a link down here, um, about how to do this with warmer hot water safely. You know when you hold bacon for a long time to make a video, your hand gets really cold. Usually you burn yourself, so this is a pleasant change. Yeah, this is a change. Alright, so I want to get my water up to about 100 degrees. Oh, that's Celsius. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, so we've set our thing for Fahrenheit, so we're going to dial this back a little bit. 110 degrees. We're going to fill that up. Now put your meat in. I need a bigger bowl. Alright, I think this will work a little better. And then let this just trickle like that. How submerged does it need to be? Because that is not going to be very submerged. You want to keep the meat under the water, so take something heavy, just like that. Isn't that a bacon press? Yeah. I Th love it. Thanks, Chris and Cheryl. Thanks, Chris and Cheryl. <laughs> Another way to do this, if you don't have the hot water tap handy, you have to use it for something else, fill your pot with 125 degree water, put your meat in it, and then stir it occasionally. That's what Harold McGee suggests in his article. I thought that was pretty good. I haven't tried that, but that's another way to do it. 125 degree in the water, has to be submerged, stir it every once in a while. If it just sits there, the water around the meat gets cold and creates sort of an insulation. So you need to keep the water circulating around the meat. That's why we have the water dripping like that. Oh. It's oh. kind of like stirring the water. But if you don't have the tap handy, if someone else needs the sink for something, you could put it in a hot water pot and stir it every once in a while. Okay. Yeah. All right, some quick food science here. A couple of things. When you do this defrosting method, the idea is that you're going to cook this food right away. You can't defrost it like this and then let it sit around for a while. Also, lots of layers of plastic will inhibit the defrosting process. So if it's like super bundle of plastic, take some or all the layers off. That's kind of shrink wrapped into it. So I really can't get the plastic off, so I'm just going to do it the way it is. So the science behind this is that liquids, specifically water, will transfer temperature faster than air will. So if you take your frozen meat and put it in the fridge, it's frozen meat versus slightly warmer air, and the transfer happens very, the equalization happens much slower. When you take this object, this frozen meat, and put it in cold water, the equalization happens faster because water transfers temperature faster. When you put it in warm water, the equalization happens even quicker, and then boom, you got defrosted bacon, and you're ready for your BLTs. All right, just a quick check, and it's soft on the sides. It's still pretty hard in the middle. All right, so we'll just let that go. Time to go watch the Labradors.
right, there you go. How to defrost meat really quickly. Again, small packages of meat. If you like what you're seeing here, you want to subscribe. We put out videos every week. We also have cooking and gardening shows as well. The links are in the show notes below. And you can also sign up for our email newsletter. We put out stuff in our email every week. All right, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts. Notes below. See ya.